Go! Rodeo time here in Winnebago, Texas. We don't get a lot of snow. We don't get a lot of cold weather. We don't shut down out here. We still got a feed. We still got a ranch. We Today we've got the Winnebago Winter Olympics. You heard it right, folks. Right here in Winnebago. Um, we don't want to go to where the current Winter Olympics are, so we want to have them right here on the beaches of Winnebago. Start up the k and It's going to be an exciting day of Win Winnebago Winter Olympics. The tongue twister. First challenge is the double bag race. We've got Cole, team Total Bull, going against uh, Blythe Ep, Eep? Ep. 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 Blythe Ep, team Total Equine. They've got a race in their bags across the beaches of Winnebago, grab a full bag of feed, stay in their bags. First one back gets a thousand points for their team. We have to be in our bag for the way back. Yep. Right? Yeah. What? Yeah. A little icy out there. How are we gonna slide? Oh yeah. We're, we're making up the rules as we go. Yeah, you gotta be in your back on the way back. <laughs> on your mark. Get set. Go! Wow. You bring it in, let's talk to our winner. You kind of had a little bit of a mishap coming back with that bag. What happened there? Well, these short legs are, we dwarves are natural sprinters. Uh, okay. <laughs> wasted on distance. Donnie can relate. Shorter what wheel. What happened though? You kind of toppled over. Well, shorter wheelbase, you know, meant, meant for torque. And uh, I don't know, yeah, it felt like something just hit me. Felt like something bit me from the backside. Something bit him from the backside. Yeah, so. Thousand points yeah. for team electric yeah. bounty hunters, Woo! team uh, Carl Ramron. Zero. <laughs> Next up is the can and barrel race. All right, next up is the barrel race. We're using the Canam. We're gonna go like a barrel racing pattern. You can't break pattern. You knock over a barrel, it's plus five. No, it's plus 10. We'll do plus 10. And you gotta come back with your racer uh, attached. Right. Cole is driving for uh, team um, electric bounty hunter. Hold up just a little. Y'all ready? Yeah, drop that tailgate. Yeah, that way we get a little more aerodynamicity. Yeah. That way when she flies up here, she'll hit her head on it. <laughs> on your mark! Get set! Go! Yeah, go! <laughs> Can't play it! Yeah. Yeah. Come here! Come here! And she's down! Gotta get that, get that lid! Hooray! Gotta get that lid! Come on, get it. Uh, Pull the slack out! Pull the slack out! 30 seconds. Right out here. Sit down. I don't want you to get run over. Go to go. Just lean it back. Right. Trying is what got her last time. It's what gets her the second time. Get her fish. The turns just seem to be what what are getting our girl. Oh, got slack in the line. They're getting You're in the tire. <laughs> We've got a minute, 12 seconds. Oh, 
headphones. <laughs> oh, they got it wrapped up in the tire. Oh no. Is too good. Looks like Pet is in the background. He might come and he might come get a, give him a good hooking. Pet likes to hook. What are they doing out there? Let's go! These are your entrance. Three minutes. On your marks, get set, go! Get on it! Come here, fish. Come here, fish. Get on it! Go ahead. We're all really just excited about the grand finale. What do you think? The race across the tank. In the water, freezing cold water. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get the slack out. Okay. Two fifteen. Another team had what? Four thirty one. <laughs> but, but, you broke pattern, we fixed so there's it, a penalty. We fixed it. There's a penalty of one minute. You're making up rules. I told you, we're making up rules as we go. <laughs> However, dude, what the heck? We're doing so good. Since they added a minute, now their time is 428. What was their time? 431. Oh. They still win! <laughs> Even with the one minute penalty. A thousand points is awarded to Carl Redrock. It seems to be tied up. The grand finale is up next, folks. And that's what you're gonna wanna watch out for. Where our man, Colonel Sanders, <laughs> and Kevin Wayne Reed Between the Lines are gonna swim across that there tank. All right, this is the grand finale, folks. It's uh, it's rodeo time in Winnebago. We got the Winnebago Winter Olympics are in session. We've got one more 
heat. The two teams are tied. It's a thousand points to a thousand points. Uh -oh. This competition is worth 10,000 points. It's called the sardine, no, the penguin race. You swim across this tank, get a sardine, put it in your mouth, and swim back. If I win, will you get me new white pants? I gotta. No, that's on you. But we don't have sardines, so you swim across, you slap the ice, and you come back. That's, and then whoever gets back to me the quickest wins. You know that uh, Kevin Wayne is a state champ swimmer? Well, we're gonna find out today. Kidding, I have no idea what he did in high school. No. Terrible swimmer. Donnie's got the drone. <laughs> He's gonna be watching him from above, and uh, I'm gonna be Snapchatting and laughing from the side. You guys ready? Is that what you're gonna wear? Nope. I mean, it's gotta be at the same time. <laughs> Well, no, guys get, can one of you guys help me get my glove on? <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> poor guy. Gosh darn it. On your mark. Get set. Go. Ready? Oh. You good? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta swim. You gotta swim. <laughs> Carson! Carson, you gotta swim! Go up high, Donnie. Yeah. All right? You okay? Yeah. You cold? Yeah. Are you cold? How do you feel? <laughs> Feels pretty good now though, right? I can't breathe. We got that the was... aftermath. Carson took off. Wait, wait, who won? He didn't Carson. touch the ice. No, wait, you didn't touch the ice? Yeah, I touched the ice. No, he didn't. Carson touched the ice. Who, who won? I yeah, touched the ice. Carson was going to want to touch the ice. Yeah, but he also didn't swim over that's there. A, that's also true. We're going to have to do it again. Next up, somebody <laughs> else. <laughs> <laughs> They got serious when like, I went off in it and it got real hard to breathe. I was like, oh man. Man, I just went to that place. I'm just so much tougher than you, huh? Dude, you can have it. Who won? He did make it the furthest. He didn't swim, but he did make it the furthest and back. I tried swimming on the way back. Didn't work. Is it shallow on your side? Cause I was like, hey, he's touching. And I started for a second. I was like, I can't touch <laughs> Looks like the electric bounty hunters have won the, the Winnebago Winter Olympics. Congratulations Woo! to the electric bounty hunters. Um, yeah, great job. They, they win 12,000 points. And the team Carl Ramrod only had 2,000 Carl Ramrod. Points. <laughs> Carl Ramrod. So, <clears throat> great job, team. Um, yeah, they won. It's not that cold, guys. It was the physical activity that got me more than being cold. I'm just so out of shape. I swim like three times a year. Thanks for watching this episode of Rodeo Time. The Winter Winnebago Olympics team Electric Ramrod has taken the gold medal. Uh, and again, this is Winnebago, Texas, not China. So thank you for watching all the way from the beaches of Winnebago. We're on to the next one. Pow, pow. So we're going to start a swim team? Well, folks, it's been an exciting day for the Winnebago Winter Olympics, which uh, concluded about 10 minutes ago. But feeling the pressure from uh, from all everybody here, uh, Dale Brisby has seen fit to prove himself a man uh, once again. We're glad you're here to watch it with us. He's already stripped down to his skivvies. Looks like he's swapping out his aviators for some ski goggles. We tested the temperature of the water. It's about 10 degrees colder than it was the night those poor people plunged into the Pacific on the Titanic. That was the Atlantic, wasn't it? I don't know. Yeah, it was the yeah. Atlantic. Yep. Yeah. Just speaking nonsense. It's pretty cold. Dale Brisby He's gonna swim across this tank. Show us how easy it is. Isn't that right, Dale? Yes, sir. Yep. All righty. Yep. Yep. Going straight at it. Doing great. I believe that's. Oh boy. He's not slowing down at all. He's got to slap the ice in order to come back. So you can hear the ice breaking over here. Oh, yep. That's the ice. Got to make it back. Woo! Folks, just from knowing this man, he is not the strongest swimmer. Oh, he is? Man, he's groaning quite a bit less than the other contestants were. Judging by the look on his face, he's not near as, uh, in pain as no. well. No, I, I think that was easy. How, oh, boy. 
Yeah, I know you did good. Kicked up a little bit of dirt, as it were. Uh, you know, these ponds tend to accumulate a lot of crud on the bottom layer. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but one of our crud uh, depositors is coming to make a visit now. Old Baptist the Bucking Horse. Yeah, should be should be smelling pretty fresh. 